this was probably the hardest weekly math challenge in the history of weekly math challenges. Yet we have so many winners for this question. We have three of them. And the first one was Eric Cobb. And he was the first person to answer the question with the correct answer of 162. And we have more winners. We have Ethan Winters, who got the same answer of 162. And we have... We, I use Google Translate to translate his name to English, and it seems like it's Riyad Abd al Razek. I, I, apolo I apologize once again if I'm mispronouncing your name. Anyway, it's time to go over the solution to this question. So the question is, a polynomial q of x of degree 2017 has the property that q prime of r is equal to 2017 factorial over r for all r integers such that r is between 1 and 2017 inclusive. That's telling us for r equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 2017, q prime of this value is equal to 2017 factorial divided by r. Okay, that seems very vague. But what, what can we say about q prime? Whenever you're examining polynomials, there's two things you want to look for. The first thing are the zeros. Zeros are just so important. And zeros and the relationships with coefficients are one of the first things you want to look for in a polynomial. And it's always nice to keep track of the degrees of the polynomial to make sure you know what's going on properly. And in our case, we know Q has a degree of 2017. That's telling us Q prime has degree of 2016. So that's, that's maybe something to look for. Anyway, we have P of X equals to X times Q of X minus integral of Q of X dx. One of the first things you may realize is that this formula looks surprisingly and suspiciously like integration by parts. This one looks like integration by parts. So maybe integration by by parts formula it resembles it at the list so one of the first things you may do is differentiate p of x because differentiating is going to allow this integral to go away so maybe things are going to cancel out and in fact they do p prime of x is equal to differentiating x times q of x use product rule you get x times q prime of x plus q of x and differentiating integral of q of x gets us minus q of x they cancel out right away so we have p prime of x is equal to x times q prime of x that's telling us integrating both sides p of x is equal to integral of x times q prime of x dx and we have another definition of p of x and th that seems much more simple than this crazy integration by parts formula so maybe we can utilize this now I have a question for you. What's the degree of p of x? Well, we know degree of q prime of x is equal to 2016. So you know that it has degree of 2016. Multiplying by x is going to get us degree of 2017. Integra integrating a polynomial of degree 2017 is going to get you p of x of degree 2018. So maybe that's something, maybe that's something to keep in mind. And what do we want to find? We want to find the sum of the roots of p of x and we are going to find the last three digits or the remainder when you divide by thousand mod thousand but how do we find the sum of the roots and one of the first things you may say if you know Vieta's formula it, it, it is Vieta's formula Vieta's formula and what Vieta's formula tells you if you have a polynomial let's just make one up f of x is equal to let's say 3x to the 7th plus 2x to the 6th and plus 1 the only thing you need to know to find the sum of the zeros or sum of the roots of the polynomial is you're going to look at the second highest degree term. In this case, that's 2 times x to the 6. And you're going to take the coefficient. So you're going to get take this 2. You're going to negate it. So make sure you negate, multiply by negative 1. And you're going to divide by coefficient of the largest degree term or the leading coefficient. So the sum of the roots of f is going to be negative 2 over 3. I may make a video in the future proving Vieta's formula. It's a very, it's a very useful one. So 
knowing this, you may say, oh, we don't have to find the, every single term in PO box. We don't have to look at every single 2018 coefficients of PO box and try to work them out and maybe factor it. That's going to take way too long. The only thing we care about is that x to the 2018 term of P of x, and you're going to have some coefficient, and you're going to have plus a sub 2017 times x to the 2017, and so on. All we need to find is a to the 2017, negate it, divide by a, a sub 2018, and we should be done. This is going to be our answer. Our answer is going to be this coefficient negated, dividing by the leading coefficient. So we that's what we wish to find. So maybe we don't have to focus on the entire P of X. We just have to focus on the first two highest degree terms. Okay, so it seems like we are analyzing this pretty well, but we have this crazy information. Q prime of R is equal to 2017 factorial over R. Obviously, we, we are going to have to work with or work with that. So we have Q prime of R is equal to 2017 factorial over R for R equals to 1, 2, 3, all the way to 2017. And we know Q prime has degree of 2016. So let's keep this in mind degree of 2016. So is there anything we can do with this? Well, remember, when we have a polynomial, looking at zeros, looking at zeros and the coefficients are maybe one of the first things you want to do. And another thing you may want to do is to construct, construct a polynomial, construct a polynomial with known zeros with known zeros. This is actually, this is an advanced, but it's pretty well known problem solving technique. And it's an extremely useful and elegant one if you use it properly. So you, if we can construct a polynomial with known zeros, we can do lots of things. We can make connections with the new polynomial and the original one, maybe the one you derived the zeros from. And maybe that's going to help us toward the solution, help us reach the solution. And in fact, there is one way of doing such thing for this question. We can multiply both sides by r. So we have q prime of r, q prime of r times r is equal to 2017 factorial. And since we are focusing on zeros when we are looking at polynomials almost always, it's nice to have zero on one side. So let's write this like this. Minus 2017 factorial is equal to zero. And why don't we why don't we let make a new polynomial? Why don't we make a new polynomial? Let's say r of x, such that r of x, such that it is equal to x times q prime of x minus 2017 factorial. And I'm obviously just copying off from this. That's something that's that's telling us maybe we can use this fact, r times q prime of r minus 2017 factorial somehow. And by constructing a new polynomial based on that, we have found a polynomial whose zeros we know. And what do I mean by that? How do we know zeros of r of x? Well, realize what's, what's r of r? Well, r of r is going to be r times q prime of r minus 2017 factorial. And we know this thing is equal to zero. So we know r of one is equal to zero. We know r of 2 is equal to 0. We know r of 2017 is equal to 0 because r of any of these r's are going to be 0. When you plug in any of these r's into r of x, you're going to get 0. That's telling you that these are the zeros of r. And also realize, what is the degree of r? What is the degree of r? Well, q prime as degree of 2016 multiplying by x is going to get us degree of 2017. For r, we don't have to care about the constant. That's not going to change the degree in our case. So we know r. We know 2017 zeros of r, and we know r has degree 2017. So these are the only. These are the only zeros of r. These are the. These are the sets of every single zeros of r. There's no extras. But using fundamental theorem of algebra, we know r has degree 2017. So at maximum, it's going to have 2017 distinct zeros. So that's telling us that this expression has to be equal to some constant a times x minus 1 times x minus 2 all the way to x minus 2017.
and we can even extract more information out of this polynomial because we have we can plug in 0 into x and plugging 0 into x is going to allow this thing to cancel out and using that fact we are going to be able to find the value of a so we know r of 0 so when x is 0 this thing is going to cancel out and we have minus 2017 factorial is equal to a times negative 1 times negative 2 all the way to negative 2017 and this thing is you're going to have negative because you're going to have odd number of negatives we have 2017 negatives and 1 times 2 times 3 times all the way to times 2017 is 2017 factorial so we have this equation right here and from this it's obvious that a is equal to 1 just divide by negative 2017 factorial to both sides we get a is equal to 1 so that's telling us that r of x that's telling us the r of x which is x times q prime of x minus 2017 factorial is x minus 1 times x minus 2 all the way to x minus 2017 realize what we have done we constructed a new polynomial whose zeros we know and using this polynomial we found something about q prime of x we found more information about q prime of x in fact now we can solve this equation for q prime of x getting us q prime of x to solving this equation gets us x minus 1 x minus 2 all the way to x minus 2017 plus 2017 factorial all over x. I'm just adding 2017 factorial, then dividing by x. So we know this thing is equal to q prime of x. And that's telling us, and what else do we know? We wish to find, what do we want to find? That's always something to keep in mind. We want to find the sum of the roots of p of x. And we know p of x is integral of x times q prime of x dx. So we want to look at integral of x times q prime of x dx. And the x times q prime of x is just going to allow this x to cancel out. Multiplying by x, this x is going to cancel out. So we have integral of x minus 1, x minus 2, all the way to x minus 2017, plus 2017 factorial dx. So this thing is what we have inside. And we want to find... We want to find two coefficients of this. We need to find the coefficient of x to the 2018th term and coefficient of x to the 2017th term, and we're done. So we that's let's keep let's look at that. So we want to find coefficient. We need to find coefficient of x to the 2018th term. And we need coefficient to x to the 2017th term, and we are going to be done. So what is coefficient of x to the 2018th term? Well, let's examine this. So we have integral of some expression dx. How are we going to get x to the 2018? Well, that's when we have x to the 2017 right here. And the only way to get x to the 2017 is by multiplying all of these x's. So we are going to have 1 times x to the 2017. And how do we get x to the 2017 when we integrate it? Well, that's when we have x to the 2016 right here. And what is going to be the coefficient of x to the 2016? Well, that's when we have 2017 x's right here. We have 2017 x's to choose from. And we are picking 2016 of them. So we can have negative 1 and we can pick 2016x. We can pick negative 2 and pick other 2016x. We can pick negative 3, pick other 2016x, all the way to picking negative 2017 and multiplying by x to 2016. Because when you're multiplying all these 2017 terms, you're going to be picking a value from each of them. You can pick x from this one, negative 2 from this one, x from this one, negative 4 from this one, all the way to picking something for this one. And you're going to multiply out all of them and add in every single combination. And that's, that's the answer you're going to get. So the only way of getting x to the 2016s is when you choose 2016 x's out of the 2017 x's and multiplying by the constant left out and adding all of them up is going to get us negative x to the 2016 times the sum from 1 to 2017. And the sum from 1 to 2017 is simply, let me actually give more space right here because I, I want to make sure that this thing is clear because that's basically our solution. So we have something times x to the 2016 and we know it's going to be negative. We, I see negative sign. 
right here, so negative. And we have sum from 1 to 2017, which is 2017 times 2018 over 2. And now let's, let me simplify this just one more time. So x to 2017 minus 2018 divided by 2 is 1009. So we have 2017 times 1009, x to 2016 and so on. Dx, realize that we don't have to worry about these terms because the sum of the zeros of p of x is determined only using a sub 2017 and a sub 2017. Coefficients of this term and this term are everything we need. We don't need the rest of the polynomial. So, when you integrate this, we are going to get x to the 2018 over 2018 minus 2017 times 1009 x to the 2016 over to x to the 2017, make sure you add 1 to the power of x, over 2017 and so on. And 2017 and 2017 are cancelling out, that's fantastic. So we have we have, what do we have? We have a sub 2018 being 1 over 2018, that's the coefficient of x to the 2018, and coefficient of x to the 2017 is negative 1009. And we know our final answer, we know our final answer is going to be negative a sub 2017 over a sub 2018. Our a sub 2017, let me copy this just quickly, a sub 2017, is negative 1009, a sub 2018 is 1 over 2018. So we have a sub 2017 being negative 1009, that's negative 1 over 2018. So just plug it into this equation and we're done. So we have negative of negative 1009, that's positive 1009, divided by 1 over 2018. So our answer is 1009 times 2018. And we want to look at this mod 1000. So we want to look at this mod 1000. So we can just do so. So taking this mod 1000 is going to get the congruence to 9 times 18. 1009 is congruent to 9 mod 1000. And 2018 is congruent to 18 mod 1000. And multiplying this gets us the final answer of 162. So our answer to this question, this hardest weekly math challenge question yet, it took me quite a bit, quite a bit of time to make, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And the final answer is 162.